Hello and welcome to our video on things to know before visiting Venice, Italy. We'll share insider tips to help you prepare for your trip and give you the top must-do activities at each destination. So come along with us as we fulfill our travel dreams and check off those bucket list items. Are you ready to join us on this adventure? Let's get started. Venice is a unique and beautiful city built on a network of canals, rather than streets. As a result, the primary mode of transportation is by boat. Make sure to familiarize yourself with the different types of boats available for transportation, such as Vaporetti, public water buses, gondolas, and water taxis. It is also worth noting that there are no cars in Venice, so be prepared to walk or take boats to get around. Venice is known for its art and architecture. Be sure to visit famous landmarks such as St. Mark's Basilica, the Rialto Bridge, and the Doge's Palace. Additionally, make sure to check out the many art museums and galleries in the city, such as Gallery de l'Academia and Peggy Guggenheim Collection. Keep in mind that some of these attractions require advance reservations, so plan ahead. Venice is known for its delicious seafood and traditional Venetian cuisine. Be sure to try dishes such as risotto alla Veneta, fegato alla Veneziana, and bacala mantecato. It is also worth noting that many restaurants in Venice are touristy and overpriced, so be sure to do some research and ask locals for recommendations. Venice can be quite expensive, especially in terms of accommodation. Be sure to plan accordingly and book your accommodations well in advance. Also, consider staying in a more residential area, where prices tend to be more reasonable. The best time to visit Venice is when the weather is mild and comfortable and the crowds are smaller. The shoulder seasons of spring and fall, April to June and September to October, are the best times to visit. The weather is still mild and pleasant, and the crowds are much smaller than during the peak summer months. Additionally, summer is also the time when the city is more prone to flooding, so it's important to check the tide forecast before planning your itinerary. Venice is a beautiful and unique city with a rich history and culture. With a little planning and preparation, your visit to Venice will be an unforgettable experience. Here are top things to do in Venice and tips to make your vacation more enjoyable. Visit to the famous St. Mark's Basilica. This iconic landmark is the most famous and visited church in Venice, and a must-see for any first-time visitor. The Basilica is a stunning example of Byzantine architecture and is home to many priceless works of art, including the famous Palladoro. Make sure to take the time to explore the interior and enjoy the mosaics, marble floors, and gold leaf decoration. There are two entrances to the Basilica, the main entrance and the south entrance. The main entrance is the most popular and typically has the longest lines, while the south entrance is less crowded and offers a more peaceful experience. Make sure to purchase a guided tour or audio guide, as it will provide you with a deeper understanding and appreciation of the Basilica's history, art and architecture. Many tours also include access to areas of the Basilica that are not accessible to the general public. Be sure to take a look at the Palladoro, a masterpiece of Byzantine art and one of the most important treasures of the Basilica. The Palladoro is a gold altarpiece that is covered in precious stones and is considered one of the most beautiful works of art in the world. Take a look at the mosaics on the Basilica's facade, they are an important example of Byzantine art and an important representation of the city's history and culture. Climb the Basilica's Bell Tower for a panoramic view of the city. The Bell Tower is located next to the Basilica and offers a great view of the city and the lagoon. It's important to note that the Basilica is a sacred and historical site, so be sure to dress appropriately. Visitors are required to wear clothing that covers their shoulders and knees, and hats must be removed before entering. Be respectful of the Basilica's sacred nature and use a low voice, and avoid taking pictures or videos during mass or other religious services. Take a gondola ride through the city's canals. This is a quintessential Venice experience, and a great way to see the city from a unique perspective. Gondola rides can be booked at various locations throughout the city, and you can even opt for a romantic sunset ride. Keep in mind that gondola rides can be quite expensive, so it's best to negotiate the price with the gondolier before the ride. It's a good idea to plan your gondola ride in advance. Gondola rides can be booked at various locations throughout the city, and it's a good idea to book ahead of time to ensure availability, especially during peak tourist season. Consider taking a gondola ride at sunset. A sunset gondola ride offers a romantic and unique experience, with beautiful views of the city as the sun sets take a private gondola ride rather than a shared one. 
a private gondola ride offers a more intimate and personalized experience and allows you to customize your route and take in the sights and sounds of the city at your own pace. Be prepared for the weather, bring a light jacket or a scarf as it can get chilly on the water, especially in the evening. Visit the Doge's Palace. This palace was the residence of the Doge, the highest official of the Republic of Venice, and is now a museum. The palace is a masterpiece of Gothic architecture and is home to many important works of art. Inside the palace, you can see the Grand Council Chamber, the Doge's apartments, and the famous prisons. Consider taking a guided tour of the palace. Guided tours provide a deeper understanding and appreciation of the palace's history, art, and architecture. Many tours also include access to areas of the palace that are not accessible to the general public. See the palace's famous Bridge of Size, which connects the palace to the prison. The bridge got its name from the size of the prisoners passing over it on their way to the cells. Take a look at the palace's impressive state apartments. These rooms were used for official ceremonies and state occasions and are decorated with beautiful frescoes, paintings, and sculptures. Don't miss the palace's armory, which houses an impressive collection of weapons and armor from the past centuries. Take a walk in the palace's courtyards and gardens, they offer a peaceful escape from the busy palace and provide beautiful views of the city. Take a walk across the Rialto Bridge. The Rialto Bridge is considered as one of the oldest and most iconic bridges in Venice and has become a symbol of the city. It spans the Grand Canal and connects the districts of San Polo and San Marco. The first Rialto Bridge was built in the 12th century, but it was made of wood and was prone to collapse. In the 16th century, the current stone bridge was built by the architect Antonio de Ponte, taking the views of the Grand Canal and the city from the bridge. The Rialto Bridge offers some of the best views of the city and the Grand Canal, and it's a great spot to take pictures and videos. Take a stroll through the bridge's shops and vendors. The bridge is home to a variety of souvenir shops and vendors selling traditional Venetian goods such as masks, glassware, and jewelry. Check out the bridge's two towers, the Torre dell'Orologio and the Torre dei Mori. The towers offer great views of the city and the Grand Canal, and are a great spot to take pictures and videos. Take a walk on the bridge's upper walkway, it is less crowded than the lower walkway and offers a more peaceful experience. Visit the Peggy Guggenheim Collection. This museum is dedicated to modern art and is home to a collection of works by some of the most famous artists of the 20th century such as Jackson Pollock, Salvador Dali, and Picasso. The museum is located in a beautiful palazzo on the Grand Canal and has a lovely garden with sculptures. Consider taking a guided tour of the collection. Guided tours provide a deeper understanding and appreciation of the collection's history, art, and architecture. Many tours also include access to areas of the collection that are not accessible to the general public. See the famous works of art on display, such as pieces by Jackson Pollock, Salvador Dali, and Picasso. The collection is home to a variety of modern art pieces that are considered important examples of 20th century art. Take a stroll through the Peggy Guggenheim Collection's beautiful garden, it offers a peaceful escape from the busy museum and provides beautiful views of the city. Take a walk in the Dorso Duro district. This is one of the most authentic and charming areas of the city, with its narrow streets, small canals, and colorful houses. It is home to some of the best restaurants, bars, and cafes in Venice, and the famous Gallery dell'Accademia. Stroll through the district's narrow streets, small canals, and colorful houses. The Dorsa Duro district is known for its charming and picturesque streets and canals, and it's a great spot to take pictures and videos. Check out the district's art galleries and museums. The Dorsa Duro district is home to some of the best art galleries and museums in Venice, including the Gallery dell'Accademia, which is home to a large collection of Venetian art. Walk to the Punta della Dogana, a 17th-century building that now serves as a contemporary art museum and offers great views of the city. Visit the Scuola Grande di San Rocco, a beautiful Renaissance building that is home to a collection of Tintoretto's paintings. Inside the Scuola, you can admire the cycle of paintings on the ceiling and walls, which depict scenes from the life of St. Rock. Take advantage of the district's dining and nightlife scene. The Dorsa Duro district is home to some of the best restaurants, bars, and cafes in Venice. Take a trip to the island of Murano. This island is famous for its glassmaking traditions and is home to many glass factories and workshops. Visitors can watch glassblowers at work and even purchase unique glassware. It's important to plan your trip in advance. 
Murano is a small island located just north of Venice and is easily accessible by vaporetto, water bus, or private boat. To make the most of your trip, it's a good idea to research and plan your route in advance. Take a tour of the island's glassblowing factories. Murano is famous for its glassblowing industry, and taking a tour of one of the island's glassblowing factories is a must-do. You will learn about the history of glassmaking on the island, and you'll get to see glassblowers at work creating beautiful pieces of art. Visit the Murano Glass Museum, which is located in the Palazzo Giustinian and is home to an impressive collection of Murano glass from the past centuries. Stroll through the island's charming streets and canals. The island is home to small streets, canals, and colorful houses, and it's a great spot to take pictures and videos. Visit the island's beautiful churches and basilicas, such as the Basilica of Santa Maria e Donato, which is home to a beautiful Byzantine mosaic floor and the Church of San Pietro Martiri, which has a beautiful bell tower and frescoes. Take a boat tour of the island, which will give you a different perspective of the island and allows you to see the island's beautiful canals and houses from the water. Visit the Scuola Grande di San Rocco. This building is one of the most important examples of Renaissance art in Venice and is home to a collection of Tintoretto's paintings. Inside the Scuola, you can admire the cycle of paintings on the ceiling and walls, which depict scenes from the life of St. Rock. Take a trip to the island of Burano, famous for its colorful houses and lace-making traditions. It is a great day trip from Venice and offers a chance to see a different side of the Venetian lagoon. Visitors can see the traditional lace-making process and purchase handmade lace products. Burano is a small island located north of Venice and is easily accessible by vaporetto, water bus, or private boat. To make the most of your trip, it's a good idea to research and plan your route in advance. Take a stroll through the island's colorful streets and houses. Burano is famous for its brightly colored houses and is a great spot to take pictures and videos. The island's houses were traditionally painted in bright colors to help the fishermen find their way back to the island in the fog. Check out the island's lace-making shops and factories. Burano is also known for its traditional lace-making industry, and you can find many shops and factories that sell and demonstrate the craft. Walk to the Church of San Martino, which is located in the center of the island and is home to a beautiful bell tower and frescoes. Take a boat tour of the island, which will give you a different perspective of the island and allows you to see the island's colorful houses and canals from the water. Take a walk in the Castello district. This neighborhood is located on the eastern side of Venice and offers great views of the lagoon. It is a quiet and peaceful area, with many small canals, gardens, and old Venetian houses. The district is also home to the Bianelli Gardens, which host the Venice. Take a stroll through the district's charming streets and canals. The Castello district is known for its picturesque streets, colorful houses, and historic buildings, and it's a great spot to take pictures and videos. Check out the district's famous landmarks and monuments, such as the Chiesa di Santa Maria Formosa, which is one of the oldest churches in Venice and the Arsenal, which was once the largest shipyard in the world. Walk to the Giardini della Biennale, a beautiful garden that hosts the famous Venice Biennale art exhibition. Visit the Castello District's museums and art galleries, such as the Gallery dell'Accademia, which is home to a large collection of Venetian art, and the Museo di Palazzo Grimani, which is a Renaissance palace that now serves as a museum. Take a hop-on hop-off boat tour in Venice, Italy. A hop-on hop-off boat tour is a great way to see the city, and it's a good idea to research and plan your route in advance to make the most of your tour. Take advantage of the tour's flexibility and hop on and off at different stops to explore the city. The tour will take you to the main attractions in Venice, such as St. Mark's Basilica, the Rialto Bridge, and the Doge's Palace. Take in the views of the city and the Grand Canal from the boat. The tour offers great views of the city and the Grand Canal, and it's a great spot to take pictures and videos. Listen to the audio guide or opt for live guide, it will give you information about the history and landmarks of the city. Take advantage of the tour's multiple language options. Many tours offer audio guides in multiple languages, so be sure to select the language that you are most comfortable with. Try the local food and wine in Venice, Italy. Venice is known for its delicious local cuisine and it's a good idea to research and plan your dining experience in advance to make the most of your trip. Try the traditional Venetian dishes such as sacchetti which are small plates of seafood, meat or vegetables, 
often served with a glass of wine. Another traditional dish is risotto alla veneta, which is a creamy rice dish with fish, seafood, or meat. Visit the local markets such as the Rialto Market and the Herberia Market to sample the local produce, seafood, and meat. You will find a wide variety of local delicacies such as seafood, cheeses, and meats. Take advantage of the local wine selection and try the famous Prosecco and the red wine Bardolino. These wines are known for their delicate flavors and can be paired perfectly with the local cuisine. Dine in an Osteria which is a traditional Venetian tavern. They often serve hearty and delicious dishes, as well as a selection of local wines. Try a traditional Baccaro which is a small, casual wine bar where you can sample the local wines and sacchetti. Be prepared for the high prices, Venice can be a bit on the pricey side when it comes to dining, but it's worth it to try the delicious local cuisine. Enjoy the nightlife in Venice, Italy. Take a stroll through the city's streets and squares and enjoy the night ambience. Venice is beautiful at night and it's a great spot to take pictures and videos. Check out the city's bars and nightclubs. Venice has a variety of bars and nightclubs that offer great music, drinks, and fun. Some popular venues include the Café Florian and the Bar Lonhi. Take a gondola ride through the city's canals at night, it's a great way to experience the city in a different light and to see the city's landmarks illuminated. Be sure to check out the city's live music scene. Venice has a variety of venues that offer live music and entertainment, such as the Teatro La Fenice and the Teatro Malibran. Be aware of the city's strict regulations. Many venues close early and noise levels are restricted, so be sure to check the opening and closing times of venues before planning your night out. In conclusion, Venice is a city with many things to see and do. From art and architecture to food and culture, there is something for everyone. We hope this video has provided some inspiration for your next trip to Venice. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. We hope you've enjoyed our travel tips and recommendations. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for even more inspiration and ideas for your next trip. So come along with us as we fulfill our travel dreams and check off those bucket list items. We can't wait to see where our next adventure takes us, and we hope you'll join us for the ride.